grade 8 math number 13.1d, we're going to find the height and the radius of a cylinder from its volume. We can find a cylinder's height by rearranging the volume formula, which is v equals pi r squared h. We've talked about that in the last couple of videos. All we have to do to switch the formula around is to divide both sides by pi r squared to get the h isolated to one side. So now, because we've divided both sides by that pi r squared, do you know what happens to this part? We've made our friend the invisible 1. So now we've got 1h on this side, and our formula is now volume divided by pi r squared equals the height. See? Now what we have to do is this, plug the numbers in. All right? So here's our cylinder. We know the volume is 471 inches cubed, and we know that the radius is 5 inches. We just don't know how tall it is right here. We need to find out its height, okay? Well, if the volume is 471 inches cubed, we put the 471 right here, and we divide it by pi, 3.14, times the radius squared. And the radius is 5 inches, so that's 5 squared. So, this is 25, isn't it? 5 times 5 is 25. And when we do 3.14 times 25, a little math on the side, we get 78.5. Now, all we have to do is divide this 78.5 into the 471. And doing it with long division, we move the decimal point to behind the 5, which means we have to move the decimal point from behind this 1 in the 471 to another space and put a zero there to make up for it. So now the decimal point's going to go up here. I do a little rounding off and 785 is close to 800 and this is close to 4700. So how many times can 800 go into 4700? Well, I know 6 times 8 is 48, so I think it's around 6 times. So now I'm going to multiply my 78.5, my original number, times 6 and look. I get 471. And there's one decimal point there, so there's one decimal point there. See that? So I have 471. So I know my height is 6 inches. See? The height of the cylinder is 6 inches because we divided the volume by pi times the radius squared. See? Got our height. Now we can do this to find the radius. I'm going to use the same numbers, but just follow along so you'll see what I'm doing. We can find the radius when the volume and height are given. So if we know the volume is 471 cubic inches and the height is 6 inches, here's our volume formula. What we need to do is we need to get the radius to one side of the equal sign. So by doing that, we end up dividing both sides of this volume formula by pi and by the h, and leaving the radius alone so that it's on one side of the equal sign. So now we've got volume over pi times h times the height, see? And the volume is 471, so that's going to be over pi and 6 because we know that the height is it's 6 inches high. Pi times 6 is 18.84, so now we've got 471 over 18.84. That's a little division problem. We do our long division on the side, and we move our decimal point behind the 4, which means we have to add two zeros to the 471. And how many times can 1884, 1,884, go into 4,710? Two times. I tried multiplication on the side and saw it came up to 3,768. It won't fit in any more times than that. I did my subtraction and got 942 and dropped this zero down. How many times can 1,884 go into 9,420? A little multiplication on the side. I got a 5. It came out exact. The answer is 25. So that means 25 is equal to r squared. So remember what we talked about before? We can take this little square off and put a radical sign around the 25. So the square root of 25 is equal to the radius. Square root of 25 is 5, so we know that the radius is 5 inches. See how I did that? All right? So we can just move this formula around to however we want by dividing the one side by 
the other values to get the value alone on one side that we need to solve for. So if we're solving for height, we want to get the h to one side. If we're solving for radius, we want to get the radius to one side. See? That's it. All right? We're going to continue on. And our next video is going to be about the volume of a cone. So we're going to be doing this cone formula right here. Okay? And remember, it's just like the cylinder one, except it's got a one-third in front of it. See that? All right. I'll see you there. That'll be 13.2a. Bye.